What's up SaaS Masters, my name is George and today we're going to check out Customer Reviews Plugin, which is a WordPress plugin that expands WooCommerce review system. Now this lets you add, for example, a review reminder. So when someone purchases, you get an email in certain time of days to remind you to do a review. It expands it also to create a coupon system where if someone leaves a review, they get an additional coupon by leaving a review. And it also expands the review box by adding, for example, if you need to add images, if you need to add, for example, was this review helpful box? like yes and no and a lot a lot of other things more so let's check this out on my desktop and show you if it's actually something that you might want to use now heads up there's a free version and a paid version but in my personal opinion I think the free version is actually pretty powerful so check it out those links will be in the description so let's jump into my desktop and check it out right now all right before we jump into my WordPress site I want you to check out their site to see all the features that this plugin has and also see that comparison chart between the free version and the paid version just to see what fits you best also check out their WordPress installations that I think are pretty, this is a pretty solid company that has over 20,000 installations and a rating of 4.5 or higher. So that's pretty good. Okay, this is my WordPress site and obviously I've installed WooCommerce already and I created a test product right here. So by default WooCommerce gives you this little section that's reviews and that's all you get, all right? Nothing special about it and it's pretty simple and straightforward. You don't also have a review menu right here, but that's gonna be added when we add this plugin. So I wanna show you from zero because I wanna show you how easy this actually is. So I'm gonna add a brand new plugin right here. So it's in plugins, add new. Let's search for the plugin, which is customer reviews plugin. And it's gonna be this one right here. So we're gonna install right now. And as I told you before, 20,000 plus installations. That's a whole lot. I wish I had that many customers. Even if they're free or paid, I wish I had that many customers just to get all that feedback and things I need. Okay, so that's installed. And what happened is it added a brand new menu on the left, which is this one right here, the reviews. Now we have a special reviews section with this. So we can check out all the reviews that were made right here the reminders that were sent out or if you want to send out and the settings. This is where we're going to get started because it's the most important part right here. And like I said before, uh, this does a lot of things and one of them is reminder for the customer to review. So this is really important because you want people, first of all, coming back, you want people to actually review your product that they purchased because that gives more credibility to your site. So for example, if I go to Amazon or eBay, I check out the reviews because I wanna see how solid the product is. I wanna hear the feedback of people, if it's pro or cons, and that's why this is really important. So having this on your site will give more credibility to your clients. And you enable it by clicking right here. And the first, I'm gonna show you the most important uh, options right here, which is first off, the sending delay. So for example, when someone purchases, when is, go when is this going to be sent? And for example, uh, this will depend. If it's a virtual product, then you wanna send that out quickly, right? Or maybe 30 days, 60 days. Um, just think about the use cases. If it's like a shipped product, maybe you wanna give more days. So it's just gonna depend how many days you want to give out there. And this is gonna send out an email telling the user that, hey, give a review to the product you just purchased. What did you think? And the, you can send it by order status. So by completed or processing, uh, my recommendation is you send it when it's a, a completed order, not processing. Enabled for all categories or specific categories. So for example, let's just say I am selling shoes, all right? And I'm also selling gift cards. Maybe I don't want people to review gift cards, but I do want to, I want people to review the shoes. So that category, I do want it to review. So that could be the option. Also the roles that you want people to let them do the reviews, the roles right here, enable guests to the reviews, the WordPress, the WordPress cron. So maybe you want to leave it like that. It's okay. For me, it's working fine. So I'm going to leave that. You can enable manual reminders. If you want to do this manually, limit number of reminders. So it doesn't bother people. Customer consent. You can edit the customer consent right here. You can register customers, moderate the reviews, exclude free products. So maybe you don't want them to review if it's a free product. On the shop name, it's gonna grab it from your site's title. You can change this if you want. The address that this will be sent from. Now this is like one of those little features that it's not available on the free version. So if you have the paid version, you can send that out from your email address. From name, you can do the reply to address. This one you can change on the free version. And what you can do is, for example, it's grabbing the admin email from the one I'm using, but you could change it to something like, I don't know, whatever you want, it's, it's, it's sales. Is that gonna be the email? Change this also. Change the language that you want to use. In this case, we're okay with English. 
and the email template right here. So you can also edit the email template. It's gonna grab a variable, which is the site title. You can edit that if you want. You can put your own site title or put something else, and it's gonna be followed by this. Also, email heading, how did we do? That's gonna be the email heading, but you could change that. And the body of the email. So it's gonna grab some variables right there, and you have more available right here. So for example, if you wanna input the order ID, you can put it right here. So you could say, from, order and it's going to grab that variable from that order ID. It's going to put it there automatically. So that's pretty cool. The email footer, if you want to add something there, the email colors in this case, green is okay because that's my logo color. So I'm okay with that. And also the form header, that's going to be the form where they jump into. That's this is really cool. I'll show you that with the, with the little test email I will send. The shop rating, common required, attached media, uh, the rating bar, do you want to use smiley and frowny face or the stars? and geolocation you want to enable that and the form color settings now let's send out a test email just to show you how this actually looks so let me send that out and we're going to jump into my email to check it out and show you how that works okay so email has been sent successfully let's go into my email and here it is let me open it and this is the email that you're going to get remember these are the colors that i chose so that's green if you want to change this to your color branding that's available and all this information is grabbed from there so remember the order ID is just put one, two, three, four, because this is a test email, right? And what happens when people get this? Well, they get that sense that, oh, I should go send out a review. So I click on review and it gives me this really nice looking form where I can do the review. So this is really cool that you have this. They don't have to go to the product page to actually give a review. They could do it from here. And what you could get right here, for example, hypothetically, this person purchased one, two, three, two things all right so they purchase two things and they can leave the review for these two thing things right here so whatever they want and check out just the comment right here and also review this one which is i'll give it a five and blah 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 and display name so you want to display this or anonymous and submit that that's easy and it's pretty cool that you get this form really nice looking form because it makes it look nicer and more professional so that's what that gives you Next section is we have the review extensions. So right here, we can enable the, the review to actually have images. So for example, if I click this right here, right now, if I go to reviews, I don't have the option to add an image. Hey, I'm selling physical products. I want to have images, right? If, I, if it's a digital thing, then I'm okay. I'm okay if there's no images. But if this is physical, you actually want to have images, in my opinion quantity of images that you want to allow in this case we're gonna allow three maximum size of images well five digital uh, display light box if you want if you want to add recapture to this so you avoid spam that's also available here you will have to enter the API keys from the recapture right there and you have you have also the option to enable the review short codes short codes are cool because you could use this short codes that they give you to actually embed it anywhere on your site. It could be on the same product page, it could be on another site, and not another site, another another place in your site actually. So the same page, but another place. So for example, if I wanna add the review to, to somewhere in the home page, you could do it by using these short codes. So it's pretty cool that you have that. You have the review summary bar if you wanna display that. Uh, vote for reviews, this is pretty cool. Like I said, you can upvote or downvote the reviews if it was helpful or not. Uh, remove remove plugins branding in this case we can disable it and lazy load reviews that's to so the review only loads when it's actually in that section where you can view it so it makes your site a little bit faster so we can save changes to this okay let's refresh this test product page by the way there's a fantastic sale that i just made right here 200 dollars, and it's only 199.99 so huge sale of one cent discount you see those often i know all right, let's go into the review section. And we have the rating right here, the review. And now we have the option to add three images to this review. So let's just say, I love this review, okay? And I'm gonna choose an image and I'm gonna grab what I have here. I'm just gonna grab that, okay? And I'm gonna submit it. So now we're gonna be able to have a review with an image available, okay? So here's a review from this person and we got review for AirPods Pro. We got a five star rating right here. Who did the review? Well, it's the admin because I'm testing this store manager, right? And it was done on this date. He loves the review and he uploaded an image. Cool. And now we have this. Was this review helpful to you? So I'm gonna say yes. 
and thank you for your feedback. So this helps you even have more credibility by adding that helpful yes and no to check out the reviews. So like you can see, it expands what WooCommerce does by doing a whole lot more with reviews. Now, this one's pretty cool also, the review for discount, which is the, for example, you send out a review, hey, a reminder review, and you say, hey, if you review this, I'll give you an additional coupon for your next purchase. So you're doing two things here. First off, you're giving an incentive to have someone review. So, okay, since I'm getting a coupon, I will review. And two, you give them incentives to buy again because they're getting an additional coupon. So they might think, okay, I need something else or I have to use that coupon. And you can enable it right here for the discount. You can use an existing coupon from your WooCommerce system or you can generate a unique coupon from here. So you can use any of those two. And the reply address, obviously you can edit there. Existing coupons to use, since I've selected existing, uh, you would have a drop down here to see all the existing coupons and you can select it right there. Since I haven't created any, you won't see any. And also the email template where you can edit it right here. So the email subject heading and the email body. So this one changes what it says. So it's like, as a token of appreciation, we like to offer you a discount coupon for your next purchase in our shop. Boom, all right, but you can edit this if you want. The discount amount is going to be set by the coupon or you can edit it edit it manually right there and also you got some variables from that also and the email colors and all that if you guys want to check it out let's go do it send out a test email and i'm going to open it as soon as it's sent okay so let's go check out that test email all right so this is the email that i got thank you for leaving a review and thank you for leaving a review for your order blah 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 and you get that coupon set so really easy and straightforward to expand what it does. Next section is obviously the license key. Well, I'm not going to show you that. Trust badges. You can add a trust badge if you do this through the Cus Rev system. This is pretty cool because it expands what it could do because this is Cus Reps and you can see other products that people have reviews because they like kind of verify what you're doing and they add it right there. Pretty cool. Check that out. That's really awesome. It's also available on the free version. So check it out. And last but not least, the referral program right here. You can add a referral program. So it tracks customer referrals. And the other option that I want to show you before we head out is the Google settings. So Google settings uh, expands this information to help you with SEO purposes. So search engine optimization. And what it does expands, for example, generate product feed, the product variants, product feed URL, generate product review feed, and product review feed URL. So it gives you all that information to expand this for SEO purposes. So there you go, guys. That is Customer Reviews plugin. If you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the description. The link, it's an affiliate link. If you would like to support me by purchasing the product, well, that helps me out with a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more than what it already cost. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master.